All right, guys, today is the day. We got our spot on fence collars and we are gonna get them set up. So we're gonna set them up on my phone. I'll walk you guys through that. I'll walk you guys through the process and show you how easy it is. We'll get it set up. Then we're gonna come out here and we're gonna put the collars on the dogs. And we bought some leashes yesterday, so we're gonna bring them out and we're gonna start making the perimeter fence. So that's pretty exciting. We're gonna start getting them trained. It's gonna take us a few days, possibly even up to a week, cause these dogs are kind of hard headed. And uh, just start getting them trained to the beeps, to the vibrations, to the static correction. Uh, one step at a time though. So let's get this done. But first we got to uh, feed these dinosaurs. This is exciting. We've been, uh, this has kind of been a long time coming. We never could afford to fence our entire property. So this is always like a, a dream to get these dogs roaming the entire property. Just how do we do it? And then we found spot on. So pretty exciting. All right, guys, now that it's fully charged, just keep in mind, you can't put the charger on while the prongs are in. And that's why it comes with this tool to take the prongs in and out. So it comes with two different types of prongs, some longer ones, which we are gonna use because we have Great Pyrenees and they have thicker coats. And it also comes with two shorter ones if you have a short haired dog. So you just put them in like this, screw them in, super easy. And then the little tool, when you're done screwing these ones in, literally comes in to just make them snug. And that's it. All right, now we're gonna get started with this. Uh, enter dog's name. So we're going to do Maple. We're going to give her, what do you think, Beth? Purple color? Sure. Okay. And then we need to scan the, the uh, collar. Where does it scan? Right here. There's a little QR code on it. So. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. So then it gives the serial number in there. Your red mix and all that matters. Great purities. Okay. Female. Date of birth. Uh, we're going to guess and say 2022. I don't exactly remember. Spoton.com. Add your dog. Uh, for right now, we have a plan. I don't know what it is right now, so we're going to go ahead and continue without plan. Let's connect. Um, I don't know what it's called. Uh, oh, spot on. And that was, what number was that? 5-2. Okay. Pair. And it connected. Now walk the perimeter fence, create and test your fence with the best possible actually, or draw the, front, the fence perimeter. So we need to do that. Okay, first try to cover a relatively small area with no obstacles, easy to walk around and test afterwards. Be sure your fence is 80 feet wide at its narrowest point. Allow for the fence alert warning zone. And the effective boundary for your dog is 10 feet inside the fence boundary. Keep at least 15 feet from roads and other hazards. Okay. Nice. So it actually literally pulled up the map of our property. Oh. Place a finger on the fence line and hold until it vibrates, then drag it to the desired position. Okay? Remove a fence post. Double tap a fence post to delete it. Continue building your fence. Use the gesture you just learned to create a custom fence. Got it. Okay? So we're going to hold it and move it out. Wow, that is super simple. So we're going to make it relatively small to begin with. Finish. Uh, test area. Fence. Please move forward in the middle of the fence area away from the fence boundary. Test your new fence after saving. Good morning. Good morning. So the, yesterday we had some technical difficulties with the collars and I'm pretty sure it, it was, was our my fault. fault. User uh, error. So I gave up on it for the day, but today's goal is we're gonna come out here with these dogs and we're gonna get these collars put on them. We're gonna get them trimmed up so they fit nice and we're gonna get them out on their leash and hopefully try out the perimeter. Yesterday, off camera, I took the collar and I walked a small perimeter around just a small piece of the property and uh, 
it worked great. I tested the collar. Beth came out and tested the collar with me. We tried to walk out of the perimeter. It started its first tone of uh, beeps and then it went into the second and then it started vibrating. Uh, obviously I didn't have the shock on, but anyways, it worked really well. So what I'm gonna do today and Elizabeth, we're gonna grab the collars before we put them on the dogs and we're gonna go walk a decent perimeter around here. We wanna make it big enough where it can actually get an accurate reading. And then we will take the collars, we'll put them on the dogs. And let them test it. And we'll get some training done today. Mm -hmm. It gives us time to open up the coop too to the back, so yeah. to change that up. I'm yeah. excited about yeah, that. Yeah, so we'll have to wait until probably after those dogs are fully trained and we get them out. But that'll be exciting because yes, we can uh, we can get these chickens off of our driveway so they quit being a muddy, disgusting mess all winter long and get them in a more protected area. Uh, and we have less chickens now, like we were saying, and that, that's one of our goals for 2024 is we want to get these guys into a better area and that better suits them, better suits us, and helps protect them. Helps my gardens. Yes. Because I want to have the best garden I've ever had this That's year. our goal this that's year. That's my goal. I want to put away so much food. We raise a lot of our own meat, um, chicken, turkey, rabbit. And groceries are getting um, yep. way too expensive. And uh, we do buy a lot of produce from the store. So this year we're hoping to... Man, if I more. if we can get to the point where we're like, what, 85, 90% I would, I'd be happy with food. even 70, 75%. Yeah, that, that too. So that's our goal this year. Grow more food, put away more food, and rely less on the system. All right, let's get this perimeter set up. We don't really know where we're going to walk, uh, but... We'll figure out something. So this is all we do. Get started. Deactivate the current fence. I'm outside and ready. It, oh, oh we have to have the collar. Okay, I wasn't sure if we we're gonna have to have the collar or not for setting this up, but evidently we do. So let's go grab that. All right, we're back. Clean off my phone so I can see it. So let's create a fence. Let's walk the perimeter. Get started. I'm outside and ready. It's gonna check the GPS signal. Hold the collar with the GPS antenna pointed towards the sky. That's what we're doing. And the note said it can take up to two minutes. Yep. All right. So there it connected. You can see right where we're standing on the screen. And now all I got to do is start. So, but I don't want to start until I know where I want to start the fence at. Start. Okay. Creating fence. Watch the boundary. You can use the pause to run a fence through an obstacle or for fences over five acres. Okay. All right. We've walked the perimeter. Now let's test it. Go a little bit further. The animals Here, do listen, not like listen. it. So that's the vibrate. Now this is the point where we could turn on the, uh, the, static, the static shock. shock. Yeah. But right now it's not on. We don't even have the prongs in right now. So it only shocks for like 10 seconds once they're out of the zone and then it will stop. And then if they come back in, it doesn't shock, doesn't make any tones at all. That way they know they can come back in. It's gonna be super yeah. loud. Now it's vibrating. Yeah. All right, so let's, okay, now let's, let's see if your a, phone beeps. Let's go to a different spot. There. Oh, there it goes. Now it's cool. Vibrating. Nice. All right, so since that collar looks good, I'm going to test this other one. And we had five two. We got four nine now. So, okay, they're both working. I don't know if you can hear them both, but it took about a solid minute and a half for it to pick up. All right, now I disconnected them because we're going to get in there with the girls and put them on. Let's do it. Are you excited? I'm excited. Girls, come here. Come on, Maple. Come here. Come on, we got new collars for you. Come here, honey. All right. Here, let's, here comes Maple's. Here, let's. Uh, here, here's Maple's collar if you want to do that. All right. Okay. It's getting it for you. So I think I have to adjust it. Yeah, we want it. We want it one, one finger, finger right? So. See, yep. their collar right now is like a whole fist. I, my whole hand can go through it. So you want You're it much tighter to, than uh, that. Probably do this, is my guess. Oops, it's still. Is Maple your okay, dog? So where's that at? She's licking her. All right, right there. Okay, cool. But is that, that is, I can get my whole hand through it. So it needs to be so tighter. It needs to be tighter. 
Look at that. I don't know where the other leash is. But... So beautiful, Maple. So right now we're going to keep a collar on them because we need to be able to train them to the fence. So just like that. Beautiful. What do you think, Miss Maple? She's like, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, um, am I being punished? No, you're not being punished, good girls. Good you're girls. such a good girl. Cal, get lost. He wants love too. <laughs> he wants a collar. Let's put a collar on him. He would love a collar. Oh, Cal. Cal is trying to walk Maple. What are you doing, Cal? He's like, come on, let's go. <laughs> Time to go. Maple, good girls. All right, now Beth's gonna get this one on Fig. I'm gonna have to help her with the sign. I'm not gonna be able to record. Marley's watching us struggle. Marley, you brat. All right, let's take him to the middle of the driveway and we will get the fence turned on and start training them. We gotta get some dog treats though because uh, we want to reward them uh, as we're backing them up from the fence. So let's go do this. All right, let's get them connected. So connect, Maple's getting connected right now. Now we need to wait a minute. Make sure the GPS okay. connects. Okay, Maple's fence is active, but it's probably not, oh, maybe it is. So connect to manage, I'm connecting Fig now. This is super, super easy. Okay, Fig has activated in the fence. It says the signal's good. Their collar's at 95%. All right. Ideally, I put my phone in my pocket. Let's start going towards the perimeter. All right, come on, Miss Come on. Let's go. Let's see if we come can on. beat. Let's see if we can get some perfect. Come on. Uh oh. Good girl. Good job. Here we go. Job. Like Fig follows Maple's lead anyway. Yep. <laughs> She's like, oh, I Want know that? they're in your pocket. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes the 15 minutes of training we're going to do today. First time wearing the collars, our first time using them. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. We're only running into some small issues with keeping them connected, and I think it has to do with user error. Uh, so I'm going to go read up on them.